Hey guys, it's Will Kriske here. Um, today we're going to be talking about a blues progression, playing playing the rhythm guitar. Now, in a certain key like E key of E, we're going to use the one, four, and fifth chord of the, of the key. So in the key of E, that's E, A, and B. So you got your E chord, your A chord, and your B. But what we're going to do is a little bit modification of that, and I'll show you that. And there's some tab on the lesson. The first chord in the progression. You play like this, open string. I call this below E is a sixth string. And this is a high, first string. So you play your low E string, and you put your finger on the second fret. Play these two together. And the rhythm is bum, 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 bum. That's a shuffle rhythm. The second eighth note is, it's like two eighth notes, but the second one is delayed. It's like a triplet. You tie the first two notes of the triple together and you play the third note. So instead of going, you go. Okay? Second, the second chord, which is the A, you play the A string, the fifth string, open, and your second fret on the fourth string. Play those together. And back to the E. And the final chord, the fifth chord of the scale, the one, four, five, you got your B. First finger on the second fret, fifth string, that's your B. And two frets up, one string down, is your F sharp. That's a B power chord. So we put the whole thing together, and I've got the chord progression shown in my, in the tab there. to the beginning. So you notice the last chord is that B. That leads us back to the E. Uh, it's called the turnaround. It's, it's just it's just a unresolved chord that wants to go back to the beginning so the blues can just loop around and around indefinitely as long as you want. That's what's great about it. Um, you also notice that sometimes I was doing some palm muting with this right hand. I've got a video on that um, but if you lay your, your hand, the side of your hand here against the bridge just where the strings come out. You can sort of mute the strings. If you play the strings without muting, as if they ring. So sometimes I'll lay my fingers after I play the chord back, touch the strings, but mute them. Or laying my hand on the strings or my palm on the side can mute the strings as well so you want to get that short sound so I'm laying my fingers down here just over top of the strings or if I play like this and I just rest my pick back on the, with my thumb that cuts off the sound as well so there you go that's the basic blues Use that for your rhythm playing, and uh, we'll also enhance that uh, as we go along.